Hello and welcome to today's July 3rd Stimulus Check 2 and Stimulus Package Update. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. And if you're not, then subscribe right now for all of the best updates, smart money tips, and words of encouragement. All right, now before I jump into today's update, I'm just curious, what one item did you buy too much of during the lockdown? Last night, I realized that I bought seven packages of frosted oatmeal cookies. <laughs> so let me know in the comments what you bought too much of. Okay, now, uh, many of you have asked, what will the Senate be focusing on in the next bill? Um, from everything I'm reading, the big focus will be job creation. Uh, they also need to figure out what is the proper amount of unemployment while people are getting back to work. As we've heard many times, the $600 per week will most likely not be continuing, but it will also not be dropped cold turkey. So they're gonna just have to figure out what is the proper balance there. Uh, the Senate also needs to address the financial shortfalls of state and local governments to avoid massive layoffs and shutdowns. There will also need to be some level of liability protection for businesses and medical providers. Uh, as I said yesterday, children getting back to school safely uh, has to also be addressed as parents cannot remain homeschool teachers and income providers. It's just too much. Plus school systems make up a huge part of our economy. I believe they also need to come up with a fair way to compensate essential workers. As of right now, some kind of essential worker pay is still on the table. Your employer would have to file for a grant or a, a compensation package for their business that they would then be required to share with those essential workers. Uh, I will put a uh, link to my website which has the, the most comprehensive breakdown of who is an essential worker. So look for that link if you've been, been looking uh, or, or wondering, excuse me. Uh, as of right now, it is proposed that essential workers would make up to $12 an hour extra for a short period of time as a way of saying thank you for your service. Uh, sadly, essential workers have not gotten a lot of uh, feedback or information about whether they will be included in the next round of relief. Uh, but one thing to point out is that that idea has also not been attacked or axed. So as of right now, I would just say it's still on the table. Uh, I think the Senate will also need to address uh, evictions and foreclosures. That is going to be a huge avalanche of issues if they do not address it. Uh, I discussed how landlords could get the EIDL grant money to help cover some of the rents that they're missing out on. If you are a landlord, please go get the, the uh, $1,000 grant for being a business owner. If you are a tenant, you may want to share this idea with them. And my hope and prayer is that they will be grateful that you showed them a way to get $1,000 and maybe cut you a break on some of your, your rent, right? Um, so definitely check that out. Also, uh, I, I went in deeper on a video last week. So go to my video page and look up in my videos in the last seven to 10 days. It will say mortgage forbearance and, and rental assistance ideas. Go watch that video. Have your landlord watch that video, but they need to, to get that because uh, right now you may need to do mortgage forbearance or you may need to help your landlord get this money so that uh, they don't kick you out of where you're living. Uh, many big decisions will need to be made between July 20th and July 31st. That's going to be a crucial time. But I believe that between now and the 20th, we're still going to see updates. Uh, Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell said that they will be speaking so that they can start negotiating on what each party wants in the next bill and ironing out uh, you know, all the wrinkles. Uh, is anyone else starting to feel like the Senate is using the American Idol tactic of who goes home uh, as, they, as they conduct business in the Senate? And the winner is going to be revealed after this break. Boo! I hate this tactic. I hate it on American Idol and I hate it in the Senate. 
Uh, I think the Backstreet Boys summed it up best when they said, quit playing games with my heart, with my heart. Okay, I'm oh, sorry, I got a little bit distracted there. Okay, now uh, Betty from the community says, is there any chance we are going to become a third world country from all of this? Um, I don't think so, Betty. Uh, yesterday, unemployment was announced at 11.1% nationwide. During the Great uh, Recession, or excuse me, Great Depression, unemployment got as high as 25%. That means for every four people you knew, one of them could not find work or provide for their family. So gratefully, we're not there. And why are we not there? Because of the Federal Reserve and because of stimulus. And I think they know that. So that's, that's what's been saving our country. Um, also keep in mind that the United States, even though we're down right now, is a robust economy compared to other countries in, in the world. Uh, we also have the largest military in the world. So I, I, I just don't see us becoming a third world country. Um, but we are going through hard times and it is easy to let our mind go to the worst case scenario. And we don't want to go there, right? Uh, during some of my Christian mission stuff, I lived in third world countries. And trust me, we do not want to go down that route. Um, okay, now if you found this video helpful up to this point, will you give it a like so that YouTube will share it with others? And also make sure to share this on social media. Okay, for those of you that own businesses, you can still apply for the PPP loan. That was extended to August 8th. Uh, there are two great online banks where you can still get funding. One goes by the name of Blue Vine, and the other is Cabbage with a K. So just search Blue Vine or Cabbage with a K uh, and PPP, and it should take you right to the page that you need. Um, I don't get anything out of this except for happiness, but if you are a business owner, go, go and apply. Um, I want to wish my community a happy 4th of July. The United States is not a perfect country. We still have a lot of social issues we need to work through, um, but we are a great country. I have lived in other countries and I can tell you that there is something unique and special. And it seems that every year the country is getting a little bit better and a little bit fair, more fair to all of its citizens. So uh, I just wanna wish you a happy 4th of July. We do live in a blessed nation, uh, so don't forget that. Um, if I can, this weekend, I'll try to break away from events to do some words of encouragement, some thoughts that have been on my mind and in my heart that I wanted to share. Okay, now lastly, as we go into the weekend, grab a pen because I need you to write something down that's very important. I need you to write down that you are amazing, and I want you to refer to that this weekend if you need to. Hey, never forget it. I'm so glad you're in my community, and I'll see you on the next video.